let us consider the following example this example says an investor is given the following investment alternatives and percentage rates of return so which is given in this table this table shows that there are three states of nature that is low medium and high the state of nature represent the market condition and he is having three alternatives that is regular share risky share property means investor can invest his money either in regular share or in risky share or in property and depending upon the nature of market that is the nature will be low medium or high this probabilities the percentage were given okay now what else information is given over the past 300 days 150 days have been medium market conditions and 60 days have had high market conditions on the basis of these data state the optimum investment strategy for the investment so what we have to do is based on this information we have to suggest an alternative to the investor that in which he will decide to invest his money either he will invest his money in regular share or in risky share or he will invest his money in property depending upon the conditions of the market can be either low medium or high so we need to make a decision in this case so uh, along with this table what extra additional information is given to us that we have to see what is mentioned over past 300 days 150 days have been medium market conditions so what we have total days are 300 okay out of this what is said 150 days have been medium market condition so market will remain medium for 150 days right so if we need to find the probability when the market will be medium how we will find probability probability is given by total number of cases hope you remember this you studied this in mathematics and statistics divided by number of favorable cases okay so favorable cases are the cases in which the market remains medium so it is 150 divided by 300 so it comes out to be 0.5 that is half so this is the probability that market will remain medium what else is given 60 days have had high market condition high market it is for market will remain high for 60 days so similarly we can find the probability for high market it is given by 60 divided by total number of these that is 300 that is 0.2 okay now what else is remaining medium is done high is done so what is left low so low market how we will find the low market what is the probability we need to find probability how will find we know that sum of probabilities is always equal to 1 so it means probability that market is low plus market is medium plus market is high sum of all these probabilities should equal to 1 so we don't know the probability of low market so means low plus for medium market it is 0.5 high will be 4.2 and is equal to 1 on solving this we will get for low market the probability is 1 minus 0.7 that is 0.3 okay so now what we got we got these 
three probabilities for low market, high market and medium market. So what this says, according to the decision making environment, when the probabilities of state of nature were given, it means we need to make decision under risk. So for that we reconstruct our table. So just consider the table. What will be the change in table? Not much. Here states of nature will remain same. This low, medium and high. Here we will be having the alternatives that is regular share, risky share and property. This chain remains same. So what is given for low it is 7%. So all these data is given in percentage. So better we convert the percentage into decimal. Okay. 7% means 0 0.07, 10% means 0 0.1, 0 0.15. Similarly, we will get minus 0 0.10. Remember, if it is negative, we have to take the negative sign. It is 0 0.12, 0 0.25. Similarly, for property, it is 0 0.12, 0 0.18 and 0 0.3. What else we found here? We found the probabilities. Okay. So what is the probability for low market? Find probability for low market is 0 0.3. For medium market it was 0.5. And for high market it is 0.2. Okay. So now this is the revised table that we got. So according to this table, now we have we are having decision making environment under risk because the probabilities of states of nature are low. So to solve this, to make the decision making under risk, what we have to find? We have to find expected monetary value which we denote by EMV for each of the alternatives. Expected monetary value for each of the alternatives that we have. Each of the alternatives. Okay, which is given by summation XI. XI denotes the probabilities of XI. What XI denotes here? XI denotes the payoff of each alternative. Multiply by P of XI. P of X I denote probabilities of achieving the each P of these are the P I P X I okay and these are X I's so I I stands for the what I stands for the state of nature so here we have three states of nature market can be low can be medium can be high so let us denote by one two and three so in our case it will become x1 probability of x1 plus x2 probability of x2 plus x3 probability of x3 okay so all these are xi this is x1 for three different alternatives these are x2 for three different alternatives these are three x3 for three different alternatives and these stands for probability of x1 probability of x2 and probability of x3 so let us calculate emv for each alternative emv what is the first alternative first alternative is investment in regular share it is given by x1 this is our x1 for this case Okay, this is x2, this is x3. According to the rule, x1 that is 0 0.07, multiply it with the probability 0.3 plus x2, 0 
multiply with the probability 0.5 and x3 0.15 multiply by the probability 0.2 on solving this we will get this is equal to 0.105 ok similarly we will calculate EMV for next one risky shear DMV for risky shear again the formula we are going to use same so it will be minus 0 0.10 multiply by 0 0.3 0 0.12 multiply by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 multiply by 0 0.2 which on solving give you 0 0.08 similarly we will calculate the EMV for the third alternative that is property in the same way we will calculate this minus 0 0.12 times 0 0.3 0 0.18 times 0 0.5 plus what is it 0 0.3 multiplies 0 0.2 this on solving will give you 0 0.114 so now we have these three EMVs for regular shear EMV is 0 .0, 0 0.101 for risky shear it is 0 0.08 and for property it is 0 0.114 now what we have to do according to the decision making under risk the investor should select the EMV which will give him maximum profit so maximum value out of this will be this one isn't it this is our maximum value so what how he is getting maximum value when he is investing in property so our decision will be investor should invest in decision what will be the decision investor should invest in property to get maximum return maximum expected value is it clear